Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Now today, guys, we are back on the solo game, and we are, as you can see, at the edge of the swamp, uh, with a Paraceratherium walking literally right on top of me. That was fun. Um, yeah, so we are at the swamp today with the griffin, and that is because, guys, one of the things I have actually never done on the mobile game is breed frogs, breed the Bezel Bufo. And so I actually kind of want to breed these guys up since we do have a base at Hidden Lake. It's kind of ideal for breeding because you do need to breed them in water. So I figured what we would do today is go ahead and tame ourselves up a frog um, or two. We're gonna need two probably. And yeah, we're just gonna tame them out here in the wild as it were because I really do want to get myself, um, no, 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 passive. I want to get myself, um, there we go, a good pair of frogs, and that will work perfectly. Let's go ahead and rescue our griffin here. Oh, man, we attack so much faster in the air. The problem with taming near the swamp is, of course, that you could, uh, lose your stuff, but... Every now and then, I think it's fun to, to take a little bit of a risk with the game and do things um, kind of on site and as intended rather than just off in the middle of nowhere. So this is more than enough prime. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and give this guy a soothing bomb and then some prime meat. There we go. And then we have our Bezel Bufo tamed up just like that. Very easy. Uh, so this one is our female. I'm going to go ahead and stop her. Um, and now we just need to find a male, guys. So that was the wrong button. There we go. I'm hoping to find a male nearby. That's only a level 25. Um, we might go for that one, but I do know that there were some slightly higher level males around here. Uh, there was a level 90 earlier, but I'm not sure I'll be able to find it again because the swamp is, of course terrible for trying to search for creatures. Um, so that frog should be fine there. All right, let's go ahead and like search through just a little bit here. Now I'm not too worried about overall level. I mean, a high level would of course be nice. Um, but I'm not too worried about getting a perfect level frog just because I don't really think they have much purpose in the game anymore. Um, after they were after the Swamp Cave had the Mega Neuro removed from it, um, there's really not been that much point to getting a super good frog. And so I'm kind of just interested in doing this as a one-off, just kind of for fun, because I don't get to breed frogs much, and so I thought it would be a kind of cool little thing to do. Um, and I know that some people don't actually know how to breed them, um... <laughs> from some of the comments I've gotten on some videos. So it is something I'm, I'm hoping to kind of show off in today's video as well as kind of a how-to, but also kind of a casual thing that's more just fun to do in the game. All right, I think I'm gonna take this low-level male here just because I can, really. <sighs> um, not that he's particularly good, but uh, that's all right. We can, we can definitely make this work. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put some prime on you. Now, I'm not gonna worry too much about um, a soothing bomb on this guy since he's already low level. I don't really wanna waste a soothing bomb on him. Uh, I would have to purchase one. So instead, I'm just gonna give him the prime and a little raw meat. And he should still tame up very quickly since he is um, only level 25. All right, we'll see here in a second. Almost. There we go. Okay, yeah. So he should tame up very quickly, and we can always kill this Pariser as well if we need to uh, basically get more Prime. Uh, that would be very easy to do. So now, as you may notice, guys, um, real quick before I take a cutscene here, there is a new button on my UI in the upper left-hand corner. That is a left-hand attack button. I did not realize that they had added this to the game in the Equus update. Um, but there is now a left shoot button, guys. That is amazing. I have put that on my screen. That is going to make things so, so much easier, and it's not in my way 
while I'm trying to do other things. Um, like the right hand attack button was always kind of in the way and so I didn't like having it on because I would always accidentally hit it when I was trying to do things. So this is much better, this left hand attack button. Um, it's going to make aiming and shooting at the same time much easier since you won't have to lift your finger up to tap. So yeah, uh, you guys should definitely check that out. It's very, very cool and I'm super excited that they added that feature. And hopefully you guys are as well. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and babysit this frog, and I will bring you guys back in a few minutes when we are all ready to uh, breed these guys up and see what a baby Beezle Bufo looks like. Okay, guys, so we are back, and we have these couple of frogs here with us. They are super cute sitting here. They're actually almost the same color except for this... Uh, underbelly sort of color. It's dark on this one and kind of a purplish color on uh, the female here, but both pretty good. So I've requested them both to the base um, and I'm actually going to go ahead and like demonstrate to you guys that they can't really be bred on land. Um, I might need to get this one closer. One second here. Yep, there we go. All right, so um, if you were able to breed them on land, they should be breeding right now. They should be close enough for that. Um, and as you can see, they just aren't doing it, even though they are, um, in fact, able to mate. Um, that is what that enable wandering is for there. All right, let's go ahead and stop these guys from wandering for a second, uh, just because otherwise they'll cause problems. And I'm going to go ahead and check and see if there's any piranha in the lake right now because piranha are usually, yep, a pretty big issue. All right, we'll just kill all those. Um, shouldn't be a big deal. Swim around a little, make sure we got all of them. Man, I don't like when piranha spawn in my lake, um, but overall it's not too bad. This is a very cool area because this lake is kind of ideal for breeding water creatures um, that are like amphibians. So definitely the Beezle Bufo. Um, I believe the Dimorphodons or Dimetrodons. I think <laughs> Dimetrodons, that's the one. Um, those also have to be in water in order to breed and lay eggs. So that is another thing to be aware of. All right, let's go ahead and get these guys out here. Perfect, okay. Now, I'm going to stop them. Um, I think they're close enough. I'm hoping that they're close enough. Hopefully, we'll go ahead and do this. No, not quite. All right, we'll have you follow me, and we'll have you follow me. No, 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 stop. Oh my goodness. This is such a pain. Uh, you follow me, and then... Nope, you're gonna swim off. Oh, it's good. I love it. <laughs> oh, man, they're so much trouble. Really, they are. All right, so I'm gonna have to get them um, situated first, it looks like. Oh, no. I can't even find them anymore. They're so uh, sneaky. Okay. Oh, and I am drowning. Perfect. Okay. I'll come up for air for a second. There is another frog out here that I'm going to have to, like, wrangle in. So it's a little bit tricky to uh, do this all underwater, but it's definitely possible. I'm actually going to equip my frog feet so that I'm a little bit quicker here. There you are. You're not the one on wander. There you are. Perfect. Okay. So now I'm going to have them follow me. This will make life a little bit easier. Okay, so you're following... You're following. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and go over here. And once I get them into kind of a good position, I will go ahead and um, start trying to breed them underwater here. Once they've kind of gotten, yes, right next to each other. Just like that. All right. Hopefully that works. They should be stopped now. They should be able to breed since they are in water. You can breed frogs. I know you can. I'm not sure what's up with these frogs. Um, oh right, I don't have them on wander. That would be why. <laughs> there we go, perfect, okay. Ah, oh, my goodness. 
a little bit of a pain, but definitely um, worth doing, I think, because this is going to be really fun. And I haven't bred frogs on mobile yet, so I actually don't even know what the baby frogs look like, but I'm sure it's just absolutely adorable. And I haven't even actually seen the frog eggs on mobile, so I'm very, very excited to see what these look like and to go through that whole process. All right, so let's see, we're about 28-ish percent here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take a quick cut here um, just so that you guys don't have to see me spam whistling, and I will bring you guys back in just a moment when these frogs are done breeding. Okay, guys, there it is. Um, finally, finally, we have our fertilized Beasle Bufo egg. Uh, I'm super excited about this. I did pick it up just because I want to get these guys off of Wander and um, get them back onto shore where I can kind of keep an eye on him. Um, a Therizino did attack in the middle of that first mating, so I did have to, like, restart all of this. Can you just hold still for, for just a second here? There we go. Perfect. Okay, so... Uh, now the frog should be okay, and I'm going to go ahead and pull them out of the lake. Um, although this is a very good area for this kind of breeding. Um, it's kind of ideal for it, except for the fact that a fairy occasionally spawns. Now, I would also suggest using a scuba mask uh, if you are trying to do some underwater breeding, because I did not, and it was very difficult trying to, like, keep my stop whistle going while I was up here. Uh, keeping these guys on wander um, while I was also trying to get air, essentially. A little bit difficult. All right, so I'm going to go down here and find kind of a clear-ish area to drop down this egg so that I can see it a little better. You can see it doesn't look like a normal egg. Uh, it definitely looks like an amphibian egg. It's very, very cute. Look at that. It's so adorable. All right, so it's going to hatch in about half an hour here, guys. So I actually do think that I'm going to go ahead and let it incubate here. It should be fine underwater. And I will bring you guys back uh, when this little Beasle Bufo is ready to hatch. And we can then um, check it out, see, see how we like it, see how cute it is. I'm really excited to see. I believe they hatch as actual tadpoles. So uh, that's going to be really, really fun. So I will see you guys in just a few minutes here. Okay guys, we are back and as you can see, this egg has just about a minute left to incubate. Um, now I do have a tiny bit of meat on me, but I do think it will be a good idea to get uh, just a little bit extra if we have it here, um, just in case. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab just a small stack of meat and then we'll head back out here and check on this guy. Oh man, one minute. These eggs are so interesting looking compared to uh, like the normal dino eggs. Like I, I honestly love the way that the amphibian eggs look in the game because they're so, um, so different and so unique. And it's kind of cool that we have this very special breeding system in for this creature. Even if it's maybe not the most useful creature to have anymore, because there are no more Meganura in the Swamp Cave, um, it's still a very cool creature, and it's still a good way to get cementing paste. And so I actually do think that having a Beazle Bufo imprinted around the base is going to be kind of a cool thing. Um, and Meganura do spawn out here, so I will probably use these guys to hunt up Meganura, because they also, the Meganura drop the Nura Husk um, rarely, which is a very cool item that I definitely want to uh, get a few of those for because they can make those, um, what are they, symbiotes, aerial symbiotes. Oh, it's a tiny frog! Okay. Oh, it came out at exactly level 100. Actually, that's pretty good. Um, man, I wish it had come out as a, like an actual tadpole. I think that would have been adorable. But I am still very, very happy with the tiny baby frog, guys. That is pretty cute um, and pretty amazing. Now, it is growing up pretty fast because this is, in fact, um, a single-player game. So it's going to grow up faster than it would otherwise. Now, I believe you can raise it out of the water if it's already a frog. Can you follow me? He's, like, not following me for some reason. 
Uh, yeah, definitely not following me. That's a little weird. It says you are. Are you stuck? Did I not go far enough? Come here. I want to see you. I don't know if he's going to make it out of the water. Um, technically, they should be able to come out of the water. Technically, they should be able to move. I'm not sure why this one is kind of stuck where he is. Um, but yeah, not bad on the stats. Obviously, they are kind of just okay because uh, it is only a level 100. But it's still a very cute little frog, um, and I am super, super excited about that. Now, what's really cool about this, guys, is that once we get this guy up, I'm actually going to try to imprint this frog. And once we get this frog all grown up, we will now have a mount that has infinite oxygen. And that is going to be great because I want to get into doing some ocean content here on the single player. Um, it's a little bit risky, obviously, because of crash issues, um, especially lately on iOS devices. But I really do want to give that a good shot and do a bunch of those um, underwater creatures as well. Kind of do a whole underwater thing on the solo series. So, um, yeah, this frog is going to be super useful. I'm going to imprint this guy up so that it has a little bit of boosted stats. And actually, I believe our female is the high level one. So we could even breed it again and get a very, very good frog um, if I were so inclined. But as is, I am going to be pretty darn happy with this little guy here. Although I do wish, yeah, don't wander, but you are following me. I do wish he would swim over here and hang out with me. There we go. He is swimming now. I'm going to see if I can get him to swim up into the shallow water. Maybe they can't come out of the water. That might be part of it. I'm going to see how close I can get him to shore here. Whoop. Okay, there we go. A little bit of a freeze there. We should be okay. All right. Yes, I don't like those freezing issues. They're they're definitely scary. I keep being afraid that my game is just going to completely crash out on me whenever that happens. Um, but typically, going to the home screen and back will fix it. All right, can he come up here? A little bit. All right, so they won't come out of the water is what it looks like, which is actually fine. That's kind of what I expected. That's what I thought they would do. It's just been so long, and I wasn't sure if they had changed that from the PC game to the mobile game. All right. Yeah, guys, so, um, yeah, I think that's actually probably just about going to do it for today's episode because we did it. We got ourselves a couple of Bezel Bufo um, and we definitely got ourselves this tiny little adorable one here, which is going to be our little buddy. So if you have name suggestions for this guy, please do leave those in the comments down below, guys, because I really, really want good name suggestions for our cute little frog. Um, yeah, we're going to wander around on this guy a little bit more to mess around than to be serious playing, but frogs are really cute. They're really fun. And so I definitely want to use this guy now that we've got him. Okay, guys. So I do think that that will do it for today's episode. So if you did find yourself enjoying this video at any point, guys, please do remember to hit that like button because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is the Iguana.